So what I'm making right here is probably the most popular dish that ever come out of the Philippines. It's called punsit. The first thing I do is I always boil the chicken. I always get four to five chicken thighs. I pull the skins off of them, but I want to get the ones with the bones in. The reason why is because it flavors the broth. What I have here is just some seasoned water, or I just have some boiling water. I, I cut off some of the ends of the, the celery to flavor the water. I'm also going to add some salt and some chicken bouillon flavor. So now that it's boiling, I just put 35 minutes on the timer, and then I should be done. Let them cool off, and then I'll shred them. Making my own stock, I'm just going to add a little bit of salt. Now, a key thing here, you guys see me using salt a lot. I'm using kosher salt. So this is chicken bouillon. I am literally just flavoring this broth here. Put everything into its own little tiny bowl. Look at that. I always try to cut like one piece like that so I could flatten it. See what I'm saying? Then I cut little thin ribbons like that. And then, all these flat pieces, then I start making my julienne with them. Lots of garlic, because I like flavor. I'll set that over here in the corner of my cutting board. Uh, what you need is about six. Six cloves of garlic, six to eight. I like these pre-washed, what have you, but one thing I don't like about snow peas is these little tips on the end here. So all I do to prep is just cut off the little tips. That's all I do on either end. Look at that, look at that. You can put as little or as many vegetables as you want in there. This is the one I use. Use Chinese sausage. That is the right flavor you need for punsit. See this little, I'll make little dimes, little dimes out of them little nuggets you're gonna find throughout your meal. So the chicken boiling over there has another 10 minutes. When that comes out, I'm gonna shred that. Make about one inch squares. Right, I'm not doing this the classical way of how you cut an onion, I'm just doing it the simple way. I thinly slice them like this, cut it in half. I'm gonna, have the sh I'm gonna sear the shrimp about a minute on each side. Uh, that gets it mostly cooked. And then I'm gonna saute the onions, the garlic, and then I just add everything else. Bihon, rice sticks. Now I'm gonna add a little water to this and then I'm gonna add some of that chicken broth I'm making when I'm boiling those chicken thighs over there. It's been about 35 minutes now. These chicken thighs out here. That's how it should be. You should just shred right off the bone right there. Spread out and cool down. I'm gonna pick these bones off here in a second. They're still a little hot. So what I'm putting right now is just the garnish, the green onions. You gotta make the food look pretty. I put a little water in the noodles, and then I soak it where it is. Normally I just pick this pot up, but it's kind of hot. a little while for this to get all wet. It takes about 10 minutes for this to really get saturated, and then you can start cooking with it. Bottom line is you want this soaking for a minimum of 10 minutes. And then I gotta drain all that. Lemons and limes just look so pretty together. They complement each other. So make sure you peel off all this chicken here. See, after you soak it for a few minutes, Nice, it's submerged, it's ready, it's pliable. Just, you 
at the bottom of the pan here. Again, shrimp, one minute each side. Just about. about a little over a minute on each side. And the shrimp will be the last thing I put back in. A little more oil. I think this is a 10 quart pot. It's probably about the size of pot you want. Add the garlic. So I want the onions to be a little soft because I don't want them to be hard in this dish. I want them to be soft. Well, I want the carrots and celery to be a little bit hard still when I eat it. Chinese sausage. Now I want that to heat up a little bit. Chicken thighs, them reheated. Look at that. Woo, your arms gonna get tired doing this. You half a cup of soy sauce and two tablespoons of oyster sauce. That flavor, you can really smell it. Now we just add cabbage. Let's just take a few minutes just to cook up here. Look at that, it's getting packed in here. So it takes about five minutes for the cabbage to wilt a little bit, the snow peas to wilt a little bit. All right, now for the noodles. So this is, this is where you build that endurance up. The hard part is just making sure that every, every piece of noodle is covered in flavor. I want the, the greens to stay green still. You can have a little bit of flavor in there. You don't want to overcook everything either. It's been close to five minutes since I put the vegetables in. Now we're gonna add the shrimp back in. Again, if you want to double the amount of shrimp, more power to you. Now you take all the garnish, put it on top. And there you go. 